One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 1977 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. This car is in great shape. Um, it's a one or two owner, check the eBay ad. Um, this is going to be kind of a once around. And then I'll go up close, show you any minor flaws, show you underneath and all that. Um, these are beautiful cars. Great coupes and I'm here to tell you, here to appreciate too. They're going to go up in value. Uh, getting very popular. I've exported these overseas, um, sold a lot of them in the States. They're quite the car. Very smooth ride. They look good fixed up or not. As you can see, little things with it aren't perfect, like the filler panels in the back, which get to missing on these. It's just the way it goes with these Cadillacs. Um, I'm going to do this here. I'm done with this once around pretty much. And I'll let you know that um, I'm going to show you underneath the rest of it and check and subscribe and comment and like and do all that good stuff on my channel. And I'm going to go underneath and show you all the underneaths and then we'll go for a test drive here and get all done walking through this car. The car is for sale. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Chrome on it's just beautiful. It's a California car. Look at that chrome, man. It's not all painted up or nothing. Even the black rubber in here is in great shape. Motor pan. It all is in great shape. Not rusty. There's a patina on it. Wherever you got some rock chips and stuff, of course. You can still got the elastic piece here. Super clean. Um, it's got its obvious little things with it. Let's just see as I go around the, like the fading on the hood. The rocker panels down here are beautiful. Floor pans, just absolutely beautiful. Little tranny. It gets no cleaner, man. Clean. Clean. Very clean. See, and you still got the paint on this side because the <laughs> the rocks don't hit it going this way. Uh, so that's that beautiful car. I think it's like they had a repaint at some point. Um, it's in very good shape. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go around and show you the. Let's we'll start from the other side where I always start to where I can keep in my mind exactly what I'm showing you. Who don't ever miss in there, by the way? Those are cheap on eBay. And let's go look at this thing. Watermarks, like this light streakage kind of coming down right there. I don't know if you can even see it. Um, it's still got a little shine to it. Really straight going down the sides. Really straight. There's a little ding right here. Ah, the little light underneath there. Oh, it comes on with the key. Ha, ah, cool. Um, it's just not a dingy car. A little fade, a little bit faded on the paint. All your trim is in good shape. Look at that trim, nice and straight. Legacy, big O. Plenty of tread. And this is a good year. Plenty of tread. So we got a mix, mismatched set. The legacy still got titties all over the side and all kinds of tread. Top, just a little dry, but not all torn up. Um, the kind of thing you could actually dye and make look good. Um, still got some couche to it there. A little bit of. So that leads me to believe that the repaint, stuff like this, works just along that trim there. Faded on the back deck lid. Now the paint's chipped off around here. These rubberized pieces does this a lot. And I've showed you that now a few times. You can order these on eBay or anywhere else. Easy part to get. This lens is cracked and a little loose. It'd be different all tightened in there. A little clip for it or something it needs. Um, showed you this side. I love the opera lights or whatever you call them on it. Big long doors. Whoo, buddy. That antenna don't go down all the way without a little help. Um, see the streaks you can see right there just lightly. I still got that. Just clean as can be. Love them. Caps, man. 
it's pretty original. Um, and a little crack right there. Some moisture in it. Everything else, look how tight that is, the grill. Just so tight. This right here is faded. Um, actually, it's just rubber, look at that. You can just shine it up, make it look nice. It's a great car. So straight going down the sides. Not all rusty, not a Bondo bucket. Look at that, that piece is still nice. These are usually all rotten too. I'm telling you. That is clean. Not all bondoed up. A little chippy scuff there. A little scrape there. And this right here. That's it, man. Ain't much else to say on this car. Besides the fade and a couple little minor dings. And the hood around it, I see. It's like a little chip right there. I didn't notice that. Trim. All the trim going around all this. Great shape. Just beautiful. Look how tight. Tight as can be. Chrome strap, uh, stainless strap going over the top. Well, Nathan, 406 544 6919. You can reach me anytime. I'm going to hop in the car here and we're going to go for a test drive. That's all there is to it. It is test drive time. Breeder! Beagle's pocket. Oh, she thinks I'm inside. She took off looking for me. <laughs> One owner car guy .com, Beagle's pocket .com, And we are out of here. I'm gonna go drive this bad boy. Oh man, it's nice inside. Yeah, 77. Eighty. Oh, my radio works and all that. 80,915. And, you know, I believe the miles. I really do. It's just not got the, the carpet, the padding, you got no wear hardly. It's in good shape. Tilt steering wheel. And that's that. My name is Nathan again, 406-544-6919. Why do I give my number out so much? So you can call me. Seriously, this thing could be sold already almost. You never know. Um, I've got three people interested right now. And it's just taking me so long to get a video to show people. Of power, a little bit. If you floor it, it'll die out a little bit. And that's just when it's cold, it seems. The car drives nice, straight, and true. Now I don't die. If you, well, there you go. I did it that time. So I could use a little adjustment or something to that effect, maybe. Now, the AC is cold. Um, going from iciest settings to least iciest settings. God, this is about a, a 8. I think it's got the old R12 in it, man. God, it might be a 9. This thing's cold. As far as old air conditioners go, this is one of the coldest ones I've been in. It's nice and cold, by the way. Now, I get lost down here, and I don't know where I am. I figured I'd do a little bit longer of a test drive. I have no phone. Hopefully, I don't run out of gas or something. No, I got all kinds of gas. I love these caddies, especially with the funky colors inside. Funky colors? Yeah, funky colors. And I'll tell you what, I just pulled this out here on the ashtray. Such a smooth action. And not only that, 
Whoa, hey now. Yeah, if you go all the way as hard as you can to the floor, it'll like just kind of feels like that time it didn't until the end. But I'm talking pushing hard. It's still going, it just not it lets off the gas a little. But right before that, man, it just goes to that point. God it pulls. Didn't mean to peel out. Nice car, a lot of power. But if you go all the way, that toe right to the ground, it just kind of stalls a little bit right there. Let off a teeny bit and it's all there. Oh, it'll kick you back in the seat. Hasn't been ran in a year or two. Uh, well, it's been started and moved around, but... Man, it just wants to go. So we could use something maybe, a little tune-up. Um, one owner car guy, dot com. I'm gonna go downstairs with it and show you in the in the more shadowy area where you can see this. Yeah, I like this right here. That AC is cold, nice and cold. And look at this, that's what I was gonna show you. It's never been used. That antenna there, like I say, it's not a working unit. Um, I might as well show you all the options while we're in here. Nice, strong, and fast what you look for on them. There's that. Big old Cadillac horn. Um, mirror adjustment. The other mirror adjustment's right here. And the cable needs a little adjusting on it. Still can manually adjust it. Got a light bulb out in this one. A couple of little scuffs on the steering wheel, but it's in great shape. A little crack here and here. And the wood pieces, it had a cover on it, and these wood pieces came off. I kept them, but you can get the you can get something to put over it there. Don't even need to if you didn't want to put the wood back on. It's not flaking all over real bad. Super clean. Um, let me pop the hood. Show you all this. Ooh, I'm glad I seen that from that angle. Door panel's in great shape. Seats are in great shape. Um, driver's seat not tore up at all. That was a pine needle. A little bit of fold over right there. This side is shrunken up just a little bit on the top piece. And it's got that split in it right in there. I'll show you from the other side. Um, armrests come down. I would just replace the face of the bottom on both of these. And my guy can match it pretty close. A little wear right here. They're all original. Look at that, man. Just clean as can be. And the back ones are just plush as can be. I don't even think anybody ever sat back here. Package tray's in great shape. Car needs a headliner. They tried to hold it up with this, but that's not the way to do it. Um, I can get you a headliner put in this for 125 bucks, and it'll look brand new, and you'll really, really like it. Um, 125 to 145, it's a big car. Power seats and such. What was that, eight way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight way. And you just close it light and might stay open, but they are tight, man. Tight, close tight, open tight. Open tight, is that possible? Yes, it is. Okay. Four and a quarter, baby. Four and a quarter. It's all there. Still got the insulation up top. Um, 
it's clean as can be. All your plastic pieces are in good shape. All that, look at this. It was retrofitted. And it's cold, man. A little bit of the blues came off the valve cover, but look at how clean. Still got all this on it. Just as nice as it gets. I really like doing these reviews on them. Um, it's so nice to show people anything and everything rather than just stand back and say, oh yeah, look, it looks pretty nice. Because it can look pretty nice and still be missing a lot. This here, it's got all the right stuff all hooked up to it and everything. It's still, it's had a new distributor, distributor cap and stuff put on. Um, the wires are relatively new. Definitely upkept it. Um, but it's set for a few years and now it just needs someone else to roll this thing around, man. Beautiful car. Well, and the reason I came up here first was this ding. That's why I was glad I looked at it from that angle. God, the chrome and the stainless are in great shape. You open the trunk while I'm back here. It doesn't want to stay by itself. Huh. The parts that came with it. Cover for the spare tire. Extra carpet. I'll throw that in. It's yours for free. Jack bottom. The trunk's clean as can be. Just clean as can be. A little wrinkly on this down here where the top area is kind of frayed. But just look at how tight and clean it is. Look at this. Just so nice. Still got the jack usage instructions up there. Nice as it gets, that's for sure. I think he's with me. Auto suck down works. I know that's not what it's called. That's what I call it. Good shape. Love these windows in the back. More door panel for you. My name is Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Dash is in great shape. I want to show you. There's a little crack here. Here, here at the seams. Um, but it's in great shape. Right there too. But the dash is in great shape. Straight across here. A um, little line on the windshield. And... Here's your wheel lock tool. There's the emblem right from the front. Yeah, baby. And there's your book. Hmm. Cool stuff, man. I like all the, huh? He's got the little tag that came off something. Cool stuff. I like when they make marks in their books. He's got stuff highlighted. Wow, man, read his, read his um, owner's manual and actually kept track of some things. Amazing. Well, <clears throat> that's that. Clean as can be. Sure is clean. That has been fixed. Oh, he took up some slag. Gotcha. Well, I'm glad I seen that where I can disclose it. That's your owner's manual. And I'm gonna grab some pictures. And I think that's pretty much my walk around. The one thing I didn't show you was the floor on the driver's side that I was thinking earlier. God, it's in great shape. Looks great. Ain't no shame in driving it just like it is. Of course, if you took the time to put a little work into it, drop a few dollars into it, got it to look that much better. Interior lighting's all good down there, as you can see. But there's no wear on the pedals, man. I believe the miles 
This is what I wanted to show you. A couple tears in the carpet, but it's clean and original. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Reach me anytime. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Oh, this screw right there needs to be tightened up. That screw and that one. Oh, that one pulled through. There you go. That's the problem. This is a little loose, so it's because the screw pulled through it. Hey, how you doing? And you could, oh, there we go. I pulled it through and held it tight, but could use a washer around it or something. I uh, love the thick wood inside. It looks great. I'm going to go ahead and show you from back here. God, it's a nice car. Got the handles on the back of the seats, too. And I'm going to hop on out of here. Hope I'm not in everybody's way. And do it to it. Well, oneownercarguy.com. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And that's that. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Any questions, comments, all that kind of stuff. Comment down here in the, the bottom here. Comment right there on YouTube. Like, subscribe, share. Share my video. That really helps out. I really appreciate any of that. And it's awesome talking to people on here and hearing just things I miss or something you think about it or even just personal stories. It's awesome. I love working here on eBay with or eBay, YouTube with you. YouTube is just the place to be on this. And the cars do go to you eBay after this. And um, you know, I'm glad I was sitting down there. That little piece of rubber along this one is chewed out along this. It's just kind of missing. And I don't want to miss that. So that's the deal. OneOwnerCarGuy.com 77 Cadillac Coupe de Bill. Ooh, buddy. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.